Now let us see uh, the first thing, the decrease in enthalpy. See, you are always trying to find out what exactly could be the reason which makes certain processes spontaneous and others non-spontaneous. Let me give an example like combustion of all the fuels, like we have the, the CNG. This process gives us CO2 and H2O and in this the enthalpies of reaction is negative. So that's a very strange thing. When we, and we know that all these um, process of, or processes of combustion all are, are, are spontaneous. What we find is this, in this that the, if the reactant is here in terms of energy, the product is here, the, the, the energy of the system is getting decreased. So it is the decrease in the enthalpy value which is taking place and that is actually is, is, is compelling the reaction to become spontaneous. So we initially thought, yes, this is the criteria of determining the spontaneity of a reaction. But then we realize that, no, it's not the criteria. It's not the only criteria because we got the examples like this one, water liquid is getting converted into water vapors and in this process the enthalpy of reaction is positive. It means what? We buy in terms of this, this is reactant, this is product. The energy of the system is getting increased but still this process is spontaneous. It means what? The enthalpy, the decrease in the enthalpy of a reaction is not the only criteria to determine the spontaneity of a reaction, is not the whole sole criteria on which the spontaneity depends. There is some more factor, other factors which determines actually or which governs the spontaneity of a reaction.